detailed and for its convenient layout. Well, one of the reasons we chose the Benetton 38 was that it had two aft cabins, two double aft cabins, and in fact we made an extra upper berth. And each cabin had hanging space and locker space. It really was quite remarkable. And I made extra bags and extra baskets and things like that. And it was, um, the boys really had a lot of toys on board and they could get to them relatively easily. I added some reinforcements. I'd uh, ordered the boat with oversized rigging and a, an extra tall mast. But most of the fitting out was adding equipment, electronics, uh, uh, anchor windlass, uh, additional gear that we thought would um, be fun to have and uh, which we felt we could afford. Originally we were planning for two years and we thought the first year uh, in Europe would be interesting. There's more to see in a small space in Europe than, than anywhere else in the world. Distances are short. Um, we wanted the children to get used to the boat. Um, we both knew the Mediterranean from the old days, but not well. I hadn't sailed it for 30 years, and so we thought it would be a good place to start, both from the interest point of view and for the children to get used to things. And it turned out to be a very good decision. As partners in this enterprise, while Andy made modifications to Bagheera, Liza made preparations to carry on the boys' education. They did the BC Correspondence Program. I thought it was excellent. I've been in education actually quite a while, um, but mainly with handicapped children. And before we left, I did take a teaching certificate, an intermediate one. So I had a pretty good idea of the expectations for their particular ages. But the Correspondence Program really was excellent. It was structured in that we knew what to do every day. And that was great because then I wasn't the bad guy all the time. Um, but it was also open-ended. Uh, they had creative art programs. We did drama. Uh, I would thoroughly recommend it to anyone. The Mediterranean was to be the testing ground to see if the family could carry on together with schooling, exploring, and living aboard in a relatively confined space. Their yacht club membership was valuable in providing reciprocal privileges at other sailing clubs they visited. They always seemed to meet interesting and supportive people in each new location they explored. I think our first really different culture was probably Tunisia. Um, the fact that um, the people dressed very differently, their food was different. Um, we had, um, it's a Muslim faith, so um, they have their prayers five times a day and uh, from the minarets. And of course we were in many, many different cultures after that. But I think that was the first one where the children were just really amazed. The Mediterranean experiment was a success, and at the end of the first year, the Copelands met a group of fellow sailors who were all planning to sail across the Atlantic in what was to become an annual race. It was actually the first year. They called it then the Atlantic Race for Cruisers. It became the Atlantic Rally for Cruisers. Um, it was great. There were 208 boats, um, lots of children. I think 22 boats had children 